Doctor Who the Sea Devils Episode 4 Cliff and Beach Trenchard, what is it? Master, one of the creatures they m- that have been destroying the ships, Trenchard. You told me it was the enemy agents. Why didn't you tell me the truth, Master? If I had, would you have believed me? On the beach, the guards are staring at the reptile. Doctor, there's only one thing for it. We must go through the minefield. A reptile uses its weapon to kill one guard, then another. Gunfight starts. The doctor throws himself across the first row of barbed wire to flatten it and let Joe go across in a second into the minefield proper. Joe will get blown up. Doctor, no, don't worry. Doctor, what are you doing? Doctor, my squinic screwdriver it converts into a rather good mind detector. Screwdriver pings like sonar. It distracts a reptile who's now killed all the guards. Doctor, look out. Look, there's another one over there. Now, we have to fight, move around to the right. Now follow me, master of stupid beast. Why doesn't he attack them? Master orders the amplitude of a transmitter. A reptile heads for the minefield. The doctor and Joe reach an area where a weary seagull has previously set off a mine off. So, doctor, it's following us. A reptile comes across the gaps. Made by the doctor, doctor. Joe, doctor. Doctor, relax, Joe, relax. The doctor adjusts the screwdriver, aims it back towards the reptile. Nearby mine goes bang, and another, and another. It make, go, makes, takes a fifth of, fourth and fifth to set it screaming back to the waves. Doctor retunes again. Doctor, right now, right, follow me. Naval base radio room. Hot. Anything from the sub yet? Roman. There's no good, sir. There's nothing. Hot. They've had instructions to surface another over an hour ago. Live. Maybe they found something, sir. Perhaps they're still investigating. Hot. Haven't surfaced by now. And something must be stopping them. All right. Submit. Submit procedure. Alert submarine command. We have set up a school scale search right away. Live, sir. Submarine rating OC. Submarine indicator. Boys. Still won't release, sir. Which way? All right, Summers. Radio Captain Hart. A moment of surface. Tell him. We are mobilised on the seabed by some unknown force. Intruders have broken through the hull. Summers, aye, aye, sir. Summers in inversion, the suit. Ready to escape the seabed. Ridgeway, you checked your OT? Summers, yes, sir. Ridgeway, all right, carry on, good luck. Mitchell, something's happening to this door. It's getting hot. Ridgeway, right, small arms, number one. Mitchell, aye, aye, sir. Mitchell unbars and locks the cupboard. Summers, forward hatch is jammed, sir. Ridgeway, all right, Summers. Ridgeway, Johnson here, petty officer here. Small atomic, automatic weapons hand out from the cupboard. Bulkhead starts to melt. Ridgeway, right, take over cover. Mitchell, the door's going. Ridgeway, all right, number one, hold your fire until we see what they are. Reptile comes through the molten remains of the bulkhead. Master cell, trench card, I just can't take it in. It's all too much for me. Master trench card, you really must take me more calm. Believe me, it's very simple. Trench card, simple? You left me all along. You said it was spy saboteurs. You said we'd catch them. Master, look. Have I talked to you about sea monsters? Will you believe me? Trench card, I've risked everything to help you. And you lied to me. Master, I had to lie. Now sit down, Trench card. Sit down and listen to me. Trench card, I don't know how you can be so calm. Master, now listen. That creature you saw is one of the race of intelligent reptiles. There's a, that has a deadly hatred of mankind. Now somehow they've established themselves at sea. They have intent to merge and conquer the earth. Trench God, what? You must warn the authorities at once, Master. No premature action. Ruin everything. Trench God, what else can we do? Master, wait until these devices of mine is perfected. Then tell the authorities. Castle grounds. The doctor and Joe hold out for run out from the trees and take cover behind a large shrub. A sound of voices, Doctor, hold still, hold still. One guard on horseback and two vehicles come clearing down the slope and pass them. To the right, we've got to go back and get back to Colonel Hart Captain Hart, come on. Master Cell, trench guard. They're not in the beach sector. We completely lost track of them. Doctor Trench Guard, you reach they reach a naval base. Trench guard exactly. They tell Hart everything. Master, mind you, there's a good chance. He won't believe them, of course. But suppose he does. Suppose he turns up here again. Master refused to admit him. Trenchcott, that would 
Don't be ridiculous. Let's get out of the trench, guys. You're running a top security establishment here. Your responsibility is to the government. Trench guard? What about the doctor? They report to the unit. They can go to the government. Master, now look. You must trust me a little longer, I assure you. All your troubles will soon be over. Submarine. The submarine is once again underway. Ridge Rage Polly and Coulson on one map, then walks over to the chart table, rating OC. F N flange space dry water, sir. Vector takes Ridge Rage's hand and points it to the sea fault on another another map chart. Mitchell, why there? Ridge Rage, ask Gil- Green Gilbert. Mitchell, all right, old man. Get get you there in no time, sir. Oh, sir. Shall we take a look at the pressure gauge, sir? Ridgeway, if you excuse me for one moment. Ridgeway and Mitchell go over to the periscope area. Ridgeway, Mitchell, sir, shall we try and jump them? Mitchell, no. Ridgeway, no. M- Mitchell, you mean we're going to do nothing at all? Ridgeway, sooner or later, these things are going to return to the base. Want to know where it is at? Starwood, Ball 20, number one. House office. But I'm sorry if I seem to be repeating myself, Doctor, but I don't believe a word of it. Doctor, well, I can assure you, we didn't walk ten miles across open countryside to tell you fairy stories. Hark, monsters coming out of the sea. Joe, but it's different this time. Everyone saw it. Even trench cord and the guards. Hark, and you think trench cord will follow your story? Doctor, I doubt it. The master's got some sort of hold of them. Joe, the doctor's seen these creatures before. Well, Hark, oh, I'm quite sure he has, Mr. Grant. Joe in some caves in Derbyshire. You see, they want to, they want to take over the earth. Oh, well, really, Miss Grant, do you think you're going? Well, one moment I'm going to believe. Joe, well, we take it, we we'll, we take it if you like. What are we they're going to do to? We, well, we take it if you if you like. And what you they're going to do do, going to do is, that is all right, Joe. All right, all right. Let me take a deal with. You. Let me deal with the explanations. Look, it's like this. It's live enters and plate the sandwiches to Joe. Live any cheese, I'm afraid. Best that Stuart could do. Ah, that's super. That's thanks very much, Doctor. For heaven's sake, Joe. What do you think this is, a picnic? Do it all right. Let's forget about Steve and Edward. What about trench guards? What, what about trench or trainers? Take us prisoners, then. The Doctor eats Joe's sandwiches. Hark, well, I only have one. have your word for that, haven't I? Do it all right. What about the theft of your electronic spares? Surely you agree that happened? Hart, since I was here at the time, yes. Joe, the master stole those parts to make his calling car device. And Hart, this is what? Doctor, well, he developed some way of communicating them. Probably ultra high frequency sonic beam. They were rather good. Want one? Hart, no, thank you. Doctor Sandwich? Live, thank you. Do- Joe, Doctor? Doctor, oh, I'm so sorry. Joe's left with the letters garnished. The tone of the phone rings. Live, Captain Hart's office? Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. Better to abandon his search, sir. Let's start again at first light. Hart, very well. Live, I'll get you some more sandwiches. Joe, thanks very much. Live, leaves. Doctor, you know how old you is a submarine? Hart, four hours. Doctor, you should never have been been sent, you know. You're bound to presume it was hostile. Hart, can only leave the naval side of the operation to me, Doctor. So, Captain Hart, you're dealing with a situation completely outside your own experience. Don't let me help you. Hart, all right then, Doctor. What do you want me to do? Doctor, well, the key in this whole mission is at the castle. Bowman puts his head around the door at the radio, the radio room. Bowman, sir, I think we've got something. The old base radio room. Hart, where? Bowman, here, sir. Contact bearing 270, range 27,000 yards, heading 047. Joe Submarine? Hart could be. Bowman, I think it must be, sir. Don't you see where they're heading? They're beached by the castle. Perhaps we you believe me now. Master Cell, the pastor, device running on yet another way frequency. Sounds like some speed up speech. He switches off, taps in the bank of eight keys, and switches on again. Off, more keys. Trench guard enters. Trench guard, that thing is working all night. I think it's working all right. Must it needs a few minor adjustments, that's all. French, I look. I've been giving some thought to all this. It's going to be an enormous job coping with these creatures. We must give the authorities all the notice we can. The device emits more speed-up speech. The master unplugs it. Trench God, what was that? 
Master, just random feedback. It's nothing important. Trench guard sounded like some sort of message. Master, look, trench guard, I'm trying to carry out a very difficult and complex task here. They can't work if I'm being continually interrupted. Trench guard, I'm sorry, sorry, old chap. I'll leave you to it. Faster, thank you. Trench guard, yes. Trench guard, the master plugs the machine back in. A message comes out, tumbling out. He smiles. Under cover darkness, six reptiles are walking through the, the surf to the shore. Further out, six more engaging, emerging from the decks. Governor's office, trench guard, into phone. I tell you, I must speak to the minister. It's most important. Well, when you do, do you expect him back? No, I can't tell you what, what's wrong. Security of the nation's at risk. Oh, very well, I'll hold on. But please hurry. In the corridor, the guard spots a melted look, lock and looks at it. A reptile grabs him from behind and breaks his neck. Trench guard into phone. No, I can't wait till morning. Oh, you have to interrupt. You have to interrupt these meetings. It's a matter of national urgency. Oh, very well. As soon as he's free, then. But if there's any the necessary delay, believe me, if I can't answer it. Trench guard turns to the monitor and watches the master tapping the keys device. Turns it off and picks up an internal phone. Trench guard, everywhere, elsewhere, phone smashes to the floor. The guard falls, falls next to it. Trench guard locks up the drawer, his desk, and takes out his assault this revolver, checking that it's loaded. Castle patrol with two guards encounter two reptiles in the corridor. One man manages to set off the alarm. Guards and trench guards run through the corridor, guns at the ready. Reptiles kill two guards and make their way through the building, um, building to master's cell. Trench guard comes across Drew firing at something. Trench guard, what's happening, man? Drew, they're all over the place, sir. They killed most of the lads. Trench guard, who? Who's attacking us? No, lizards, sir. Like the things we saw on the beach. Come on, sir. They're after me. They're after me, trench guard. Bang yourself together, man. Have you sent have you sent for help? Jew, but it's no good, sir. Trench guard, there's a, a direct line towards Whitehall in my office. Use that. Jew, why can't you, sir? Trench guard shall attend to the security while I'm a prisoner. Go on, man, move. Jew Lee, trench guard faces three tuptiles, empties his revolver to one of them, and clutches his chest. The clock on the wall says it's just after nine. Master stops sending his message. Three reptiles enter his cell. Trenchard lies dead on the floor outside. Naval base radio room. Bowman have been sending a more signal. Bowman is no good, sir. Nothing. Joe, well, that thing has a, was a submarine. Why didn't you, they answer your signals? So perhaps they can't. Hart, well, tell the side coordinator to check that area immediately. It would be light soon. Live, sir. Bowman. Sir, contact fading. Hart, what? Doctor, Captain Hart, you've got to find out what's happening to, at that castle. Bowman, contact lost. Hart, I will go on to an armed guard and two land roads at the main gate in four minutes flat, Doctor. Outside the castle entrance, two naval, naval land rovers arrive. Hart, come on, move in. Castle, the group comes across a dead guard. Hart, Doctor, his body trench his body. Hart, I don't understand why. Doctor, the master did no, has no further use for him. That's why he got hot. Why did he help the master in the first place? Doctor, what, what would you say was the French of the strongest characteristic? characteristic? Hot, I don't know. Patriotism, I suppose. Doctor, exactly. The master used his patriotism as a weapon. Naval base, radio room. Bowman is filling a message from Foreman Blythe enters with a mug. Blythe, I brought you some kachai. Bowman, with Roger. Search forms over and out. Did you get through the Captain Hart? Blyber fell phone at the castle, but they already even left. Bowman, well, they're definitely getting an echo. The object's moving, Blyber, see. Hart, what is it, Bowman? Have you any established contact, Bowman? It's a message from one of the search vessels, sir. They're getting an echo. Do I don't know, submarine? Bowman, yes, it's moving towards the fault now. Moving at about 30 knots to Hart deck. Bowman, steady at one. At one five zero feet, Doctor, the fault. Look, Captain Hart, can you lay on the driving device vessel? Hart, yes, the grid plane standing by it on search. Why? why? Doctor, I think I want to expect the seabed of, at the base of the fault. That fault. HMS reclaim dive control. The Doctor drew a ferried out and launched the file Navy diving search fit ship A23, who said it only no longer exists. The doctors pipe the board. They go down to the diver's section where the tanks and dry suits are kept. Hot. All pre-dive checks completed. Hot. What? Yes, sir. 
Park, the doctor, you're quite sure you want to go through this? Doctor, yes, positive. Park, we need to lower the observation chamber. Uh, what's there, sir? Crew standing by. We need a man. We sent a man down with him. Park, good. Don't even, you don't mind. I'd rather go, go down on my own. Park, well, I presume you're a trained diver in addition to your other accomplishments, then, Doctor. Doctor, naturally, what's more? I know these creatures have encountered them before, so I know what I'm looking for. Park, like, well, right, carry on. What's I, I, sir? Doctor, Joe, Doctor? Doctor, Joe. Doctor, what is it, Joe? Doctor, is it quite really necessary to go down? Doctor, well, who else am I going to make? How else am I going to make contact? Hot doctor? Oh, it's your mess reclaiming the driving bell. You're waiting, hanging from the crystal crane on deck. Hot, good. Well, good luck, doctor. Doctor, thank you, Captain Hart. Diving bell. The doctor climbs into the bell. CPO. Everything okay, sir? Doctor, yes, thank you. Street. CPO. Very good. Agent Edgar claim what's test late. Crew make their final checks and then the crane hoists the bell over the side. What pull up the links? Carry on Harry lowering. The bell enters the sweat rotor. Sailor, twelve feet. Well, officer, carry on lowering. HMS reclaim dive control. Hot. Let me speak to him. How's it going, Doctor? Doctor Monitor, splendid, thank you. Little a most interesting trip, Hart. You reach the bed in a few minutes. Take us immediately if anything goes wrong, Doctor Monitor. Don't worry, it might it'll be all right. Hart, you've reached the seabed. Doctor on monitor, right? Hart, are you all right, Doctor? Doctor Bell, Doctor, yes, I'm fine, thank you. The Doctor peers out of the of peep pothole. Doctor, hang on a minute. A reptile appears. Hey, just a claim, drive control. Hart, are you right, Doctor? Shall we bring you in? Up, oh, Doctor on monitor, definitely no. Not, I think I'm just static. Well, Bring him up. What starts winch his voice? SCC. And we have to claim. Officer, high enough. The top of the lift. Bell is pulled in the dot. Onto the deck. Into the deck. And locked off its position. Hart looks through the inside. And comes up. Out again. Joe meets his eyes. And looks inside the bell for itself. It is emptied.